What's the last thing you remember, Danny? He said we had to run. Five young mutants encounter their greatest fears in an isolated hospital in The New Mutants. Danielle Moonstar, played by Blue Hunt, is a 16-year-old Cheyenne woman who wakes up in a hospital for New Mutants run by Dr. Cecilia Rees, played by Alice Braga. Danielle joins Rain Sinclair, played by Maisie Williams, Ayana Rasputin, played by Anna Taylor-Joy, Sam Gunfrey, played by Charlie Heaton, and Roberto da Costa, played by Henry Zaga, in receiving treatment from Dr. Rees to gain control of their burgeoning mutant powers and re-enter the outside world. However, it soon turns out that this hospital is a sinister place where the personification of the New Mutants' nightmares terrorizes them at night. New Mutants, co-written and directed by Josh Boone, best known for 2014's The Fault in Our Stars, is a film that was originally shot in 2017 and experienced three years of delays which included studio-mandated reshoots that never actually happened, the acquisition of 20th Century Fox by Disney, and finally the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Consequently, The New Mutants gained a bit of a reputation as a cursed film that at one point didn't look like it was going to see the light of day. Now that The New Mutants has finally been released, I do have to admit that I found the film better than expected. Even though it, it's not executed perfectly, it was definitely a refreshing approach for a comic book film to go in a more horror direction, featuring a young cast that includes Maisie Williams of Game of Thrones, Anya Taylor-Joy of The Witch and Split, and Charlie Heaton of Stranger Things, starring alongside a relatively unknown Blue Hunt in the lead role as Daniel Moonstar. In fact, probably the biggest thing that the new mutants has going against it is the film status as excess baggage of the old X-Men franchise, which wore out its welcome in with last year's incredibly disappointing Dark Phoenix, with many expecting the franchise to be rebooted now as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As such, even though the film holds up being a solid supernatural horror film, the new mutants have definitely arrived many years too late. I give the new mutants three and a half stars. Thank mm -hmm. you.